Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today is my last day down here in North Florida. So I'm gonna be driving up to, back to uh, North Georgia today. But before I do that, I wanna catch some fish. I'm gonna try to catch some fish on this little Z-Man Micro Finesse Larva. It's a pretty new lure, it came out this year, and I've only used it once. I did catch some fish on it, it was up in North Georgia, I caught a few trout on it, which I may throw in at the end of this video. But today, I'm gonna try to catch some fish on this. And, and I'm fishing the Santa Fe River, which is a spring-fed river. It's got a ton of different species in here. I think the number one species I'll probably catch on this is the spotted sunfish. I love to get one that's seven inches because then I can get a little Florida Big Catch certificate. So that'd be a that'd be a nice goal for the day. But anyway, let's get to fishing and catch some fish on this little uh, Z-Man larvae. Got a fish, there we go. First one of the day. Let's see what it is. Yep, spotted sunfish. So. I caught these last year. Last year I went to Florida, the same river, and I caught them in a river in South Georgia on my way back. I actually didn't catch any in this river last year, but I know there's a bunch in here. This one looks really cool. Look at his eye. I didn't realize they had some blue under their eye like that. That's really cool. Well, obviously that guy's not too big, but he's actually five and a half inches. So we only need a fish an inch and a half bigger than this to get a little award which I think is definitely very possible today. Oh, I had something. Something hit hard. Got one. Ooh, is this a bass or is this a sunfish? Oh, it's another sunfish. All right. Another um, uh, spotted sunfish. Yeah, dude. I don't remember them having the uh, blue eyes like that. That looks really cool. I gotta get a good picture of that. Man, look at that. You think he wanted that? Ooh, he's peeing on me. But this, this little micro larvae thing looks like perfect for different species. You know, like I already caught some trout on it, which you'll see at the end of this video. And I, I knew it would just be amazing for panfish and so far so good. This guy was six and a half inches, so I think we could definitely get that seven inch. I mean, he's almost there. Anyway, beautiful little fish. There's a fish. Oh, another spotted sunfish, I think. Oh, all right. Oh no, it's a red breast. Or what is this? I think it's a red breast, but it looks real weird. Maybe it's a hybrid or a different type. All right, this looks like it might be a hybrid. I think it's a hybrid. Maybe a red breast and something else. Or it's a different type of fish, I'm not sure. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's a hybrid. It was right at seven inches. I don't know, I don't really know what type of fish it is. I mean, it looks like a red breast, but it's just got some weird looking markings, so I think it's a hybrid. Anyway, let him go. I got something. Ooh, what is this? Oh, no, it's not a fish. Oh, it is a fish. Oh, I got a fish. You're just in the middle of all that stuff. I was like, I thought I was stuck, but there's a fish on there. Ooh, could this be a seven incher? Uh, I don't think so. He might be six and a half again. There could just be a bunch that are like right under seven. All right, well, I haven't exactly been slaying them because now I've been out here for like an hour and this is only like my fourth fish, but I'm still catching them. I think I just need to kind of figure them out more like and just get in the right spot. But yeah, look at that blue. I like that blue under their eye is pretty cool. It's probably another like six point something incher. Yeah, he's just under six and a half. So another one that's pretty dang close. There's one. Ooh, this guy's a fighter. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's gonna be seven. <laughs> I think I have a feeling we're gonna catch a lot that are just like six and a half or something. This one looks the same as the last one. Fish number five. Another uh, spotted sunfish. Well, he was right at six and a half, just like that last one. There's one. Ooh, what is this? I think it's another, ooh, it's really fighting. Oh. Man, this, I think is this is the biggest, slightly. 
He's got a bigger mouth. I doubt he's seven, though. Man, I mean, I feel like if we get enough of these, I've caught three real fast in this one spot. I feel like if we catch enough, we might get one that's seven. Look at that little guy. He's 6.75. So he's real close. All right, I'm going to let him go here. There's a fish. Didn't get a good hook set on this one. Ooh, bass. There we go. Well, that's something different. I'm glad, like, we didn't just catch those sunfish. I mean, we've got, this is our third species. Like, I think one of the, that third fish we caught, I think was a hybrid, but hey, we got a little bass. It's a little largemouth. There are some, like, rare swanee bass in this river. I've seen a few, but usually, like, if you see a fish in the super clear water, it's, like, really hard to catch them. Like, for the most part, you just try to got a fish for the fish that you can't see. But uh, there's a little largemouth. All right, I'll let him go. Oh. Ah. Well, I thought I had a fish on there, and this is the third time that a tail has broken off. Like this, the last tech is usually really durable, but I think it's just so thin that it actually breaks kind of easily. So this is the third time it's happened. I didn't even say anything the other two, two times, but now that it's happened for the third time, that's kind of concerning. Ooh, got something. Ooh. Yo, a bass is chasing it. That's crazy. There's a bass chasing it. Oh, I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Dude, this is a pretty small one. Definitely not a seven incher, but there's like a large mouth that was about a pound chasing this thing. He chased it right up to the boat. That was kind of funny. Well, it's a little easier to tell why there are spotted sunfish on this one. It's got a bunch of little spots there. Ooh, nice, ooh, could this be a seven incher? He's fighting. Oh, I don't know. It's one of the bigger ones, but I don't think he's, yeah. That one might only be like six and a quarter. He's just fat and fought hard. Yeah, he was six and a quarter. Not gonna cut it for the big catch. There's one, what is this? A bass maybe? Nah, ooh, what is it? Oh, it's just a tiny one, wow. That's a cute little guy. He might be like four inches. Even though he's so tiny, he's got some big old eyeballs. Tiny one there, kind of just fits in my hand. There's one. Ah, another tiny one. Ugh, I hooked this one like and the gill. Well, we don't want to be in smaller ones. We need one that's seven inches. There he goes. There's fish. Ooh. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm catching so many that are small now. I'm kind of thinking about just trying to do some bass fishing now. But I mean, this thing works. I mean, like, I could sit in here all day and just catch a million of these guys. All right, well, I think I'm gonna quit fishing without lure for today just because I kinda wanna go after some bass and catch some more bass before I have to leave today. But before I give my final thoughts on the lure, I'm gonna go ahead and show those few trout that I caught up in North Georgia, probably about 300 miles north of where I am right now. Actually, there's a fish. Finally got one hooked again. I was just about to switch colors. It's a little trout. Uh-oh. I got my net. I have uh, this old net with me. Ooh, there we go. All right, little rainbow trout. All right, I just wet my hand because I've had some angry comments in the past because I forgot to wet my hands before handling these trout, but small little like, I don't know, maybe 10 inch rainbow trout to start off on the black larvas or whatever it's called. There he goes.
There's a fish. This one feels bigger. Uh, he's pretty small. Another little guy. Oh, well, I don't know what the deal was. I didn't catch anything in the first like 15 minutes, which really isn't that long, but now I've caught two pretty fast. All right, here's trout number two. Pretty much looks like an exact clone of the first one we caught. Just a little uh, stocked rainbow trout there. And I definitely want to use this lure uh, for like multi-species creek fishing in the summer, but right now, you know, it might be tough to catch some other species. So that's why I'm just uh, going after trout with it today. Oh, oh my gosh. Got one. I just hit the tree when I hook set it. It's another tiny one. I feel like they've been bigger here in the past. At least the average size. Oh, get in the net. I don't know what happened here, but that is the first fish on that yellow colored one. Probably like chartreuse. All right. Got the hook out. Another pretty little trout. There he goes. So as you saw, I mean, I caught a lot of fish on that lure. It works really well. I think it's going to be a great multi-species lure. Obviously today I mostly caught panfish, caught one little bass. Um, but I think in other like creeks that I fish that have more bass, I could definitely catch some more little bass. But that's definitely going to be a really good panfish lure. And that one spot I caught those trout. I could probably, you know, wear them out on that little thing if I fish there more this winter. But overall, definitely a good little lure. I mean, any little like two inch creature bait is just going to be a, a great multi-species lure for like creeks and rivers. The one main complaint I had about it is that like three of the tails broke off. I mean, it is Z-Man. Uh, so typically those things last real long, but I don't know. I think it was just so skinny that like sometimes when a fish would just bite the tail and I'd hook set, it, it would just break. So... But nonetheless, definitely a good lure. I was using it on a little 130th ounce uh, micro finesse jig head by Z-Man. So it, it fit pretty well in there and allowed me to catch quite a few fish. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more creek and river bass fishing and multi-species fishing in our creeks and rivers. But anyway, I'll catch you all on the next video.